performance evaluation of 6T SRAM cell using 90NM technology. Abstract, over the last few decades, static random access memory or SRAM has become the universally utilized memory technology. It can hold its stored information or data as long as the power is provided and it can be referred to as a type of random access memory that utilizes latching circuitry in order to store the bits. The SRAM cells are made of MOSFETs. Additionally, the system of chip advancements requests low-power SRAMs. In this paper performance evaluation of 6T SRAM cell topology has been carried out using Cadence Virtuoso tools in a 90NM technology node. It is performed in terms of the read and write operations, power, noise, temperature, and also the hold operations have been analyzed. Likewise, to assemble a dependable memory or storage, the individual cell, SRAM, should be intended to have a high static noise margin, SNM. The main objective is to comprehend and analyze these activities of the SRAM. Keywords, SRAM, SNM, read, write, hold, noise, power, temperature. Introduction In the recent 40 years, Moore's law has been expediently improving VLSI arrangement through CMO's advancement scaling. Typically, at 18 months to 2 years, the quantity of semiconductors ends up being twofold in the integrated circuits. This example of advancement scaling has worked strongly in the semiconductor industry however in the past years, the speed of this scaling has been easing back down. Dynamic power and static power unquestionably reduce due to the scaling of the supply voltage. Cutting down the supply voltage expense delay to keep up drive current and also the threshold voltage ought to be decreased in a similar way. SRAM or the static arbitrary access memory is a sort of semiconductor memory that stores each bit by utilizing a bistable latching circuitry. It shows information remnants, yet is still customarily unpredictable just as the information put away will in general get lost when the device is not powered. For the arranging of SRAM's least component size matters however, CMO's advancement scaling increments extreme requirements these include process variations, transistor degradation due to aging. MOSFET-based memory thought was popularized in the 70s. The essential DRAM chip with 2K bits was marketed in the year 1971 however the DRAM working doesn't coordinate with the working of the processor since the DRAM is more power hungry and its access time is additionally long one. The DRAM nature is dynamic so it needs that the memory should revive intermittently for not to lose the information of memory cells. The processor required another sort of memory called cache memory to keep consistently used data. SRAM's coordinated with the execution of processors however it has less capacity limit due to restricted area and its expense was additionally high. Up to 70% of the systems on chip area is involved by embedded memories, thusly, it transforms into an issue of importance to improve the reliability of SRAM cells. A wide extent of microelectronics, system on chip applications, SRAMs continue being an essential section. To meet the necessities, SOC applications and processors demand more on chip memory. Presently, the SRAM is a utilized memory innovation all around. Quick access and low power SRAM are particularly required for system on chip innovations. Literature Review Deepak Mittal and V.K. Tomar proposed a research paper in which the 6T SRAM cell has been related with the 7T SRAM, 8T SRAM, and 9T SRAM cells with regard to read delay and write delay, read power and write power, read static noise margin, RSNM, and write static noise margin, WSNM, and the outcomes have been produced through Cadence Spectre Test System 1. Ms. Ismarizvi, Nidhi Dr. Rajesh Mishra, and Dr. M. S. Hashmi introduced a paper in which a subjective understanding of a 6T static random access memory, SRAM, cell has been carried out when it has been affected by some noise in the power supply and also in the inverter latch. The research has been carried out in 180NM CMO's innovation with respect to the right margin, the right time, and static noise margin on the induction of noises too. Premalatha, K. Sarika, 
P. Mahesh Kanan proposed a paper in which the main focus was to manage the power dispersal which happens regularly in the static random access memory or the SRAM cells during the write and the read activity. This issue was solved by applying dual limit voltage for 6T SRAM, 7T SRAM, 8T SRAM, and 9T SRAM cells. Their delay and power dissemination of all these cells are determined and analyzed in this paper. This is carried out utilizing Cadence Virtuoso tools and the Spectre as the test system in the 90NM Generic Process Design Kit 3. Cell Design The conventional 6T static random access memory design comprises 6 transistors, where 2 transistors are of PMOS type and 4 transistors are of NMOS type. The setup is to such an extent that the PMOS type and NMOS type structure make a cross-coupled inverter while two NMOS type transistors are associated with the bit lines. Subsequently, these NMOS type bit lines associated transistors are alluded to as the access semiconductors which are constrained by the word line. Fig 1 shows the circuit of the 6T SRAM connected in Cadence Virtuoso 5. Fig.16 T SRAM circuit design. The two cross-coupled inverters forming a latch with two access transistors for getting to the information or the data taken care of in the memory cell. The plan of the SRAM cell ought to be done so that it allows a good read activity simultaneously with a good write margin. The cell is composed by driving the desired value and its complement onto the bit lines, BL, and BL underscore bar at that point raising the word line WL. The cell is read by pre-charging the lines high at that point permitting them to float. When the word line is raised one bit line is pulled down while the other stays high. For appropriate read activity, the access transistor NMOS and also the pull down NMOS are estimated to such an extent that the value of voltage for the other inverter and quick read activity is performed. Likewise, to guarantee appropriate write activity it requires access transistor and pull up PMOS are estimated. When switching operation happens in the circuit for a little period, the pull-up and pull-down transistor turns out to be short which makes the static impact in the circuit, for example, the supply voltage VCC and ground terminal turns out to be short which prompts static power loss so the overall power loss increases in the read operation. Proposed work In read activity information is required from the memory cell. In this manner, to understand information, both the bit line BL and the bit line bar BL underscore bar are at first pre-charged to state 1, when the word line is low that is WL will be 0. Once it is pre-charged the word line will be equal to 1 and hence the access transistors are turned on subsequently associating with the bit lines. For the write activity, if the BL is high, the BL underscore bar will be low, for example, both the BL and BL underscore bar line will be complementing to one another. Two CMOS inverters are connected and they act as memory. It is similar to that of the NOT gate operation. The outputs are taken as Q and Q underscore bar. We use access transistor to access the BL and BL underscore bar in order to perform read and write operations. Conclusion The analysis of 6T static random access memory is done in this paper. The read, write, hold, operations were performed for the 6T SRAM. Also, DC response for temperature and power is simulated. Another major factor that is the static noise margin has been done and the noise responses obtained are shown for both read and write operations. All the simulations were carried out utilizing Cadence Virtuoso tools in 90NM CMOS technology. In the future, we can upgrade the static random access memory cell and make it dependable and robust to the noise present in the environment.